Ronald Bell told this story oh, before yeah. he passed about how you guys were quote unquote forced to come up with Jungle Boogie sort of against your will. Oh yeah, it was it was like force. It was um uh it was a a, a I don't know a, a mental block time mental block time for creating music. <laughs> so I, <laughs> or you I, tell me the, your version of the story. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna mess with his. Okay. So uh, we went up to uh, the office of the attorney uh, at the time. Today he's the, like the number one attorney for uh, the entertainment business in the world. I'm not gonna mention his name, right? Okay. So uh, Dennis, myself, Khalees, and Cool went up to see him. And uh, I can say what he said, though. Uh, he said, listen, guys, we just need some effing hits. He <laughs> said, I don't care how much genius you are and how many instruments you play. And he looked at his watch, which was probably a Patek Philippe, and said, my wife's waiting for me at the airport. Goodbye. And we he walked out. So Dennis went one way. Ronald, Cool, and myself were walking together and said, we got to come up with something. And sure enough, going to Baggy's, it's not that, I'm quite sure it's not that, Baggy's uh, re rehearsal studio in New York on uh, like the 30s on the west side. And uh, we started coming up with uh, this music, Hollywood Swinging mm -hmm. was one, where Ricky Westfield came in and said the idea. Then we were over at Holoquin, which is a 40... Another rehearsal studio, like 45th Street upstairs over Howard Johnson's, right? Really cheap studio. Oh, in Manhattan? In mm -hmm. Manhattan, yeah. Near, Manhattan. Where uh, SIR used to be. Okay, I see. I yeah. know who that is. Yeah, and uh, we came up with uh, Jungle Boogie. Uh, we were uh, playing it. Uh, Khalees, it was, we had Jungle something. But it was right. Dennis Thomas that came in. And when he heard the track, he said, we're calling it Jungle Gym, blah, 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 blah. And, and he said, no, man, people are boogieing. Let's call it Jungle Boogie, right? Bingo. Done. After, wrapped up. That, that's the story. Uh, can, you, uh, can you verify that? Well, uh, kind of what Ronald told me was basically that um, that the, the heads of delight were sort of like mesmerized by you know what was slowly morphing into to, to New York called dance night dance night culture. Yeah, and they heard Soul Makosa, <laughs> uh, <laughs> of which you know I guess either they acquired a copy and was basically like, "We want our version of this song," and you guys were like, "No, we were serious musicians. We're not uh, playing this uh, mumbo jumbo." Uh, uh, and, Absolutely. No, we love Soul Makusa too. Okay. Mama Cool, Mama Sam. We love it as well. But okay. they, they were going to bring in other producers. And Kalisa and I said, no, they're not. And uh, we went and did. We got funky stuff out of it and all that day. So we got Hollywood Sprinkle, Jungle Boogie, and funky stuff all in one package. So you can't beat that. Khalif Gamble was just telling me because he follows you guys um, with video. He's a, a, a videographer. And he was saying that the rooms that he's seen you guys change with Jungle Boogie, I'm talking about the whitest, most Southern, like it just breaks. It's That's the one song that just changes everything. Yeah, Have you yeah, yeah, it, it changes a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's in especially because it's called Jungle Boogie. I just think the irony in it is. Well, you know, it's, well, it's primitive exotic. So. It's got just it's got the ground rhythms that I was playing and Cool was playing, and you know, and you got that the, the horns playing uh, uh, contrary motion, and you got to have the going going down the other way. You know, uh, that's that's uh, in jazz, but you hear that a lot of classical music when the strings mm. are going one way, uh, and then you hear the cellos going down. The whole different. It just opens it up, you know, and then, like, then you got a guy going, -uh! <laughs> you know, which, right. which, uh, which was novel. Don so Boyce. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Don Boyce. Fair no, sorry. no. Don Boyce. That also made that record what it was, you know, what it is still today.